hello guys good morning it is a beautiful it's it's a beautiful day because it is raining i didn't think it was going to be raining this morning the plan this morning was to go to a restaurant have breakfast like i didn't want to cook have breakfast and then do a bit of food shopping and then come back home prepare for school tomorrow that was my plan but it's raining now and i don't know if we're still going to do that but anyways we're still going out i have been ill you guys some of you might not have noticed but i have been sick and if you've watched some of my videos over the past few weeks you would have heard it in my voice i'm just grateful that i prepared a lot of content ahead typically i don't prepare my content ahead i just film on the day i want to post or whatever but i've done that lately and that was what saved my bum bum this period because all the videos were like backlog of videos that I had to post and I could space them and I'm so grateful that I did that so I learned a lesson in content creation I learned that I should always batch produce and I should always have like extra content like you never can tell you might be busy you might be ill and you don't want your channel to just go blank because you are not available <laughs> so i'm grateful you can still hear a bit of cold in my voice so like i said i've been ill and i didn't want to stress myself by cooking too much just want to quickly go out to get something to eat and then buy stuff that i can cook for the kids it's been raining all morning i didn't know it was going to rain but um i welcome it because nigeria is has been very hot it is a very very hot country so that's what's happening, Jerry. Oh, gosh, so tired. I've just woken up and I've not done anything, but yet I'm, I'm so exhausted. Hello, Tito. So, hello. Hello, good morning. How are you? Good, 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 good. That's what you want? Okay. Tiara, what do you want? But you said you wanted chicken nuggets. Huh? Okay, so which one? Okay. Yeah, check the menu. What do you want? Check the menu. What do you want? Sorry, sorry. Oh, you Supermarkets for the kids, we got chicken and chips. Sierra, see your own, see your own, see your own. Say thank you, mommy. You're welcome. I also got some chicken suya. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, this is one burger. I think this is for that stuff. This is mine. It's a 
meal so it comes with salad and uh, chips people are asking me where to get rice sticks special dish called ikokore <laughs> it's a yoruba dish but from ijebu kingdom <laughs> is it ijebu kingdom i beg i don't know these are the ingredients i'm using i'm using crayfish i'm using shower as i've already removed uh the bones the fish um if i have a full shower i will put a picture so that you can see it i don't know the English name of the fish, but we call it shower, and it's a dry fish, it gives it a very unique flavor. And then we have some fresh pepper, fresh onion, I have some smoked fish, extra fish, and the star of today is water yam. Some of you have not cooked with water yam before, so water yam is like yam, but more slippery or elastic or elastic let me try and see if i can this is what it is it did draw that's what i mean <laughs> so what we did to the water yam was grated the yam and this is the texture you get so i'm just going to i'm going to cook it like porridge 
I'm going to put all these ingredients into the meat stock and then just put lumps of this like this lump it up and then put it in the sauce allow it to boil and when it comes out it's going to be a very delicious dish this is one of my favorite meals I have a recipe on my channel is an old one a lot of people say to hear me update it I think I will but I'm just showing you what we're making for dinner today so I'm adding palm oil I forgot to mention that part we need palm oil for this recipe I'm listening to a clubhouse um, And I need more water. I'm listening to a room on Clubhouse and they're talking about support. Um, like, does your spouse, what's the topic? Does your spouse understand your business? Yeah? And once you can show them that you know this is what I'm planning to do. This is how I'm going to do it, and you actually explain what you do. The framework of the business to the husband, um, he or, or spouse. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a husband, it could be a wife, you know. Who doesn't understand why you're spending, why this, my husband is spending all this money in this particular business that doesn't seem to make any money, right? So it's explaining it to them and helping them understand. So be listening, be listening to what I'm listening to. Or understand it but as long as they trust you enough so i'm putting the um what i am now come around for most of them they come around but there's something too he said that was so critical and it's 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 you're gonna evolve um, as a man as a woman and so you should be with a partner who understands that that is going to happen right so i might not be the, the best business for a woman today but years from now if i stay with that business i will grow simply because I'm getting more experienced at it. And they sh that man or that woman shouldn't expect that. I'm always going to be that person who is running to them for help or threatening about I will outgrow that stage. So that person needs to understand that, right? And, and if I'm no longer that person who is running to say, oh, help me, help me, help me, they should be able to adapt to that. But what I have found is that for a lot of people, they're not, that adaptation process doesn't as quickly the problem starts. Uh, you so you're now big, it now becomes a problem. And you know, who, who are you talking to now that you're not talking? And I, anybody, I've, I've just grown, right? I've got better at what it is I'm doing. They've so invited me to be a speaker, but I don't know, should I speak? <laughs> I'm shy, but I think First, I should. You understand what exactly it is that you're doing and then being able to explain it literally to a five year old. Once they understand it, like I said, they may not necessarily come out with, um, you know, the pom poms, but they will trust you enough to do the right thing. My name is KK. Bye. Oh, thanks, KK. That was, that was really good. And it, it, we've, I think everybody's kind of touched on that as well, you know, communicating and communicating clearly exactly what you're doing. Um, and I think it goes by the, either way. I mean, any type of business or any type of relationship, I think communication is really key. Um, so let me just try and reset the room. Um, we're here this evening just talking about does your does your spouse or partner understand your business? 
Um, and, you know, a lot of people on the stage have spoken some really powerful things. Majid, thank you so much for giving us from a man's perspective. I and mean, one of the things that you touched on that I thought was pretty unique was, you know, going out there and marketing and, and you know, how is it, how do women feel when, or what is it like when a woman is out there marketing her business? Um, you know, and, 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 and it's strange because I know that a lot of guys worry about that. Um, but the truth is, as women, we also worry about the men that go out marketing as well. So, and I think we don't talk about it often in terms of saying, well, my, 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 my husband's out there, he's marketing his business. And you know, the world is an equal opportunity so for women that are not young men. And, and I'm sure they have experienced it. I want to add some onion. I didn't add it earlier because I didn't want it to get like soaked to the bottom of the pot. So I'm just going to market our businesses without compromising our integrity and our value system, and that's key. And I think I think another room is required for us to have that conversation in terms of marketing and marketing in this day and age. And note, it's not just women hitting on women, I'm oh, sorry, women hitting on men, women hitting on women as well, um, and men hitting on men. So, I mean, it's just, it's all about this. I think that's that's something that you guys I agree. I will call the rules. Leave us the marketing tools. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, I'm just going to put that in there. That's so that you know, girls, I don't want to scatter the cockroach because it will form molds. You see, we already need palm oil. <laughs> it's already looking like palm oil is needed. I'm going to put a bit of crayfish now and I'll do the rest. I'll use the rest later. But I'll just cover the pot now. I get a publishing deal. Um, and KDP was definitely an option for me. It's definitely something I considered. Um, but I wanted to make the book experience um, a little bit different. So we've got like spoiling um, on the front of our book. If you see, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see when people share. There's almost like a mirrored um, spoiling for the title. Um, and we also wrap our gifts up when we get our book. So sure. when you get it, it's like a gift. So you get these little. I'm listening to it. I'm listening to a clubhouse group, <laughs> but you see how some are formed um, like this. This is how you want it to be, and yes, it is so typically oily, and I like mine oily like so this. Kind of, it's really so it's like yam pottage basically, but, like <laughs> but with what I am. Um, so By the time I mix it now, company, like, so the good. That's the sound of Nepal bringing like. <laughs> The formatting can be off, or so you can turn it from a fish. I didn't want that for my book. I so it's it mixed with different types of fishes, and, and I love goat meat in my cockerel. Like, I love. Oh houses. my god. And my husband is going to love um, this. We, he does um, not know this, what I'm cooking, and he really likes it. Um, and the personal development category, um, and we are the only person who got shortlisted to be a finalist, and I believe that I was the only book in that category that was... Some people eat this book. with so, Eba. I have never yeah, eaten it with Eba, sure. So don't just think about what's in the book, and um, think about how it's formatted, think about the spacing, think about your client making that journey for them to read it as, as oh easy my god as this is so delicious oh. you guys i just tasted it and it is so good oh my god can't wait to dig in thank you for joining me to make dinner they've got space in between so it makes it easier to scan really good advice or maybe somebody 
somebody who has more experience on advising um, about that, Jonathan. Oh my gosh. Yeah, let anyone else know if you have some obviously they can share. Um, but then the title of the book, I think again, titles are so always the title that either turns me on or perhaps in a book. It's a first book. Um, so I would again just do some brainstorming. Um, this is a reminder that if you have not bought my cookbook or my menu planner, hmm, you're on a long thing. Please go in the description box and get your copy. We have an unboxing to do. Tiara, take your teddy out of my... <laughs> she has already opened it. It's from George Residence. And I got it this morning. And I could not wait to open. <laughs> Tiara, Tiara flung the paper away. It says corporateluxury.com. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so over here we have... Um, Bitcoin voucher. This is really cool. I don't know anything about Bitcoin. Somebody teach me. I've been trying to understand, but you know the answer. Don't hear it. Give me. Oh, and um, we also get um two night stay complete with complimentary breakfast. That is really cool, you guys. Whoa! Hold it for mommy. And we have a drink for mommy. They know what mommy likes. <laughs> this is really cool. Thank you. And then we have in this box, what is here? It says by Adi George. Oh, wow. Okay. What is, it is a bag, Tiara. Wow. Let's 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 open this. Wow, Tiara. Okay, this looks like a very gorgeous bag. Oh, I cannot wait to see it. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, Tiara. This is gorgeous. Can you guys see this purse? Ah, yes, Tiara. Mm -hmm. For me and you. <laughs> Tiara's taking my bag. Don't she spoil it? <laughs> we decided to give you these to showcase the qualities we see and appreciate to you. These aren't bunny eggs. It's not Easter yet. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. So we have big eggs. Wow, and I like this egg tray. So we have egg tray. Now, we don't get it before. <laughs> Thank you so, so much, George Resident. This is very generous of you. It says, uh, we are huge admirers of your amazing work. As a gesture of our appreciation, we are pleased to invite you to... Oh, this is really nice. Hey, so, which day are we going to spend weekend at George Residence? When I was sick, I kept thinking about all the things that I love to do and I couldn't do. Like, you know when you're on the bed all day, you don't have appetite, you don't have the energy to work, and I was missing filming, I was missing editing, I was missing just going out to the market, you guys. It was a horrible couple of 
days i'm sure it was like more than a week it was really bad but i'm so grateful that i feel better now i feel good my voice doesn't sound like i have a cold anymore i don't know but i feel like my voice is getting deeper you guys i listened to my voice this week and i watched some of my old videos and i feel like my voice is like deeper and more mature and i don't know what's going on <laughs> It's like my mommy voice is really, is really coming. Next, grandma voice will be coming. <laughs> but anyways, I, I just feel like I'm really grateful to just be in good health. It's something that a lot of us will take for granted, but I'm just so happy. Like, you know when you have this renewed sense of purpose and stuff, like, I just feel like I want to continue doing what I love to do. That's why I'm sitting by my computer editing. I hope you enjoyed this week's um, CC Weekly. It must have not been a lot because um, I didn't get up to a lot and I was just recovering, but um, I have a lot of content coming. If you have hmm, special announcements, <laughs> first of all, if you are subscribed to my channel, and you did not turn on bell notifications, please do so. I was checking my analytics, I had time to check it, and it said that 80% of the people subscribed to my channel did not turn on notifications. Like, why? If you don't turn on notifications, let me tell you what happens. When I release a video, you probably don't get a message that I do. I don't know, I think that's how it works. Um, you probably don't get an alert that I've uploaded a video, so please turn on notification. I beg. <laughs> I beg. And then something else. Oh, yeah, if you've not gotten my cookbook or my menu planner, please do so. The link is in the description box. I've just um, woven my hair into two just to just keep life simple. I beg. I don't have time for stress. I want to get on with editing. Thank you for watching this week's CC Weekly. I think I'm going to be uploading it every Sunday going forward. And most of the time um, for my weekly uploads, I think it is going to be um, 3 p.m. Between 3 p.m. and 4 p.m. every day. But I've been going for 3 p.m. Um, last week. So let's say 3 p.m. during the weekdays. See you guys in my next video. Bye.